Hello and welcome to Bloke Off The Range. Now, we were uh, discussing on the Facebook page last night ways that we could signal when a video was not potentially YouTube compatible and indicate that, uh, that viewers should go elsewhere, being Full 30, BitChute or um, Utah Gun Exchange at the moment. Um, now the problem is, basically, that we're not sure where these community guidelines are going, what is allowed, what isn't allowed. It's probably going to be arbitrary and capricious and change over time. Um, I still don't have closure on uh, what it exactly was in those three videos on the Swiss um, K31-43 sniper rifle, possibly the word sniper, uh, and two about uh, Chasseau metallic cartridge conversions. Could be manufacturing ammunition. I don't know. We don't know. The zillions of, uh, of videos public on YouTube on exactly those topics right now. Well, not exactly those topics, but similar topics. Um, and basically, I don't know. Anyway, in case of risky things such like such as reloading and things like that, maybe I will um, just post them elsewhere. And then I was thinking maybe I could just post a code word, sort of some sort of safe word, um, in as text uh, to indicate to subscribers that there was something elsewhere. But not everyone will see that. So another option is we do a different type of video which indicates it. I guess I could hold things up on cards and do it a bit like sort of um, um, a Bob Dylan music video or something, uh, indicating that people should go and look elsewhere for their content. Um, anyway, as part of this discussion, there are all sorts of famous code words from the Second World War, uh, various French phrases and messages to the Résistance and uh, Python references like, my hovercraft is full of eels and all of that kind of thing. And during these discussions, I wrote down a sequence of figures, 0096, 2251, 2110, 8105. And then I suggested that there might be a t-shirt available for the best answer to what the link was between those numbers and one of the guitar videos on Bloke Off The Range. Now, the best answer was given by Andrew Dixon of North Carolina, so there is a t-shirt on its way to him. Now I'm going to give the full, geeky, absolutely complete answer to this uh, to this conundrum. Now, those numbers were actually sampled from an old CIA number station, shortwave number station, and uh, this was, I believe number stations are still in fact used, but not quite as much as they were in the Cold War. It's effectively a way for security services to send instructions and messages to spies in other places. Uh, they're usually practically undecipherable because they use what's called a single-use pad. So you've got two identical code pads, one that the, that the operative has, one that the operator uh, back in the security service has, and um, these are basically totally random codes. Once the pad is used, you, just, you, you, you destroy it page by page as it's, as it's used up. Um, and effectively, if you don't have the pad, and as long as the same page is not used twice, they're practically unbreakable. Now, those particular numbers were used in a uh, song by Porcupine Tree called Even Less, which is the uh, first track on the Stupid Dream album in 1999. And the link to the video was that uh, when I was showing the, the guitar, I showed a particular chord, this one. And I said that if you can uh, name that chord and tell me who uses it all the time, we can be friends. Um, so I'm going to give the game away now. This is a kind of odd chord, kind of strange to finger. Um, it's uh, for the guitarists out there. It's X one zero zero one one, and it's a B six with a ninth on it. A B six slash nine and it is the Stephen Wilson chord. This is to Stephen Wilson what G, uh, E7 sharp 9th is to Jimi Hendrix. Uses it all the time. Uh, he uses it in two different places in uh, even less. It's the uh, second chord of the verse and the last one of the chorus. So uh, it goes something vaguely like this, and I'm not going to embarrass myself by singing. So. <laughs> And 
and that's the uh, basically the verse, and then the chorus is. <laughs> And there you go. And so you've got the classic Stephen Wilson chord used twice, and we've got one of his standard moves, which is to slide the uh, B uh, B flat six with a ninth up to a C add nine, or back the other way. And this is something he uses all over the place, um, even in the more modern stuff. Uh, the chorus of uh, Harmony Corrine. Oh, even slides it up to God knows what. Um, effectively, I like his approach to chords. I, I like the way that his approach is quite geometric. It doesn't worry so much necessarily about music theory. Um, but it's about, there's a, there's a lot of, starting with a basic structure and, and just moving a finger, moving a couple of fingers. And it's, it's nice, it appeals to me very much. Uh, very much like it. Anyway, that is the answer to that riddle. CIA number station, even less, the Stephen Wilson chord, there you go. So, hope you enjoyed the t-shirt, uh, Andrew, and uh, see you again sometime. Bye. Zero, zero, nine, six, two, two, five, one, two, one, one, zero, eight, one, zero, five,